Hello again, Acanthus here. If I sound a bit congested, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, it turns out ever since I've come up to Connecticut, I have really, really, really bad allergies. So there's definitely a lot of congestion. I've been taking medicine, eating honey. Hopefully it helps. And this week, I want to talk about LARP and how it relates to cosplay. And here's how the thought got going. Ah, uh, I've been reading my new By Night Studios book that I ordered, the new Vampire the Masquerade they released. I really, really love it. So some of the other interns saw me reading it. They're like, hey, you do Vampire the Masquerade? I was like, well, yeah. So it turns out another of the interns did Vampire the Masquerade a few years ago. And another one is very interested in it, but has never played before. The one who's never played before asked me, he's like, wait a second, do you? DM? And I'm like, yeah, I've DM'd a few times. He's like, do you think we'd be able to do one? I'm like, okay, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a bit complicated since we're working, so let's go ahead and try it. And since my brain's been going about LARP and thinking about the plot and all that, I started getting excited to think about the costumes, and I'm like, man, I didn't bring any of my LARP clothes because I didn't think I would need it. Now that I'm thinking about the costumes and getting ready to go, it brings up an interesting question in mind is dressing up as your LARP character and, you know, bringing it to conventions, things like that, is cosplaying your LARP character actually cosplaying? Now, I know the definition of cosplay is something that's talked about a lot. It's one of those things, in my personal opinion, it's the eye of the beholder. But I like to discuss these sort of things. It's very interesting in perspective. Whenever you do LARP, live action role play, so, you know, you dress up as the character and you act it out rather than sitting around a table and, uh, discussing what your character would do, you actually stand up and you do it. You know, and you have particular hand symbols, particular special powers, things like that. And whenever you cosplay, you take on a character's personality. For example, if I were to cosplay Vegeta, rah, 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 you know, that sort of thing, it'd be kind of obnoxious if I cosplayed Vegeta, but also a lot of fun. But the point I'm trying to make is that you take on the character's personality and you act as that character. And you go around and you respond as that character. And you do that very similarly in LARP. So there's a lot of very similar comparisons whenever it comes to that but then there are a lot of differences whenever you are LARPing you are actually being a part of that world itself rather than an anime convention you're a character who's been brought out of that world and you're interacting with other characters from different worlds so whenever you take your character out of the LARP world and into an anime convention you start interacting with people like that Hypothetically, by the whole linking and association thing, it's very similar. Even though your character's not as well known as Sailor Moon or Goku or Madoka Magica, or yada 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 yada. What are your guys' opinion on it? Like, comment, subscribe. I really love to hear feedback on this sort of thing. I'm definitely into the idea of open discussion. Until then, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.